M&Ms, who doesn't like these things, especially the peanut variety? These are an icon from everybody's past, and I have a burning question about these that uh, I need to answer. So when I eat peanut M&Ms, uh, I'm always looking for the coolest looking m and M. I'm looking for the gnarliest, lumpiest looking one. I'm looking for the biggest one in the bag. Uh, and that has led me to, to wonder, um, what, is the, uh, what is the weight spread on the M&Ms in the bag? The lightest one versus the heaviest one. Uh, what percentage of, uh, of the bag does, let's just say, the yellow M&Ms have versus the green M&Ms? Um, I'm also half wondering what, uh, how much uh, percentage of the weight on average the peanut versus the chocolate is. Uh, might, might get into that. Um, I don't know, maybe this is just because I'm odd, which is entirely possible. But now that I've mentioned it, uh, maybe you're curious too. Alright, so first we're going to weigh the bag of M&M's. This is a large bag. It says it weighs 19.2 ounces or 544.3 grams. The scale says 550.5 grams and 19.4 ounces. So that's good. The bag seems a little bit heavy. Uh, I'm sure nobody's going to complain about getting a few extra M&Ms. But if, on the other hand, they shorted you a little bit, somebody would be sure to find that out, and they would complain, and uh, the m M&M people would get in trouble. Um, when I empty the bag out, I'm going to weigh the bag and the candy separately, and I suspect that possibly the bag might make up the extra difference in weight, and the candy actually weighs closer to what it says on the bag. All right, so now we're going to open the bag. We're going to separate the colors. Uh, we're going to get a total count. We're going to get a percent of each a percent of the total that each color has. Uh, we're going to get the heaviest and the lightest of each color, and then we're going to get the heaviest and the lightest out of the bag. Um, so I'm going to tape the whole thing, and I am going to uh, fast forward over the parts that are boring, so you don't have to watch literally the entire thing. That's a lot of M&M's. Let's see, offhand, there appears to be an awful lot of orange ones in here. I wonder if they're not going to hold the majority of the total. So I can see right now that the brown ones have an extremely small total of the uh, portion of the bag. That's plainly obvious, and that's good because I don't like brown ones. So yeah, it appears that uh, the orange ones have the vast majority of the bag. It appears the green is number two, and yellow is number three, blue four, red five, and brown six. By the way, I said I was going to weigh the bag. So the bag weighs 6.5 grams. So 
So that would appear that uh, the candy is actually a little bit light. I'm actually quite surprised to uh, to see that that the that the bag uh, that the bag is that heavy. All right. Well, moving on. Forty-three for the yellow. Forty-four, sorry, that must have broken one. Seventy two for the orange. Forty five for the green. Thirty three for blue, eighteen for brown, Eighteen for red. Alright, I'm going to turn the camera off, uh, do some more math on this, and then I'll be back. Alright, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to weigh them all for, uh, to see what, uh, which is the heaviest and the lightest out of each color and then out of the entire batch. Uh, I'll just do the brown ones just as a demonstration and then I'll turn the camera off and do the rest of them. Because if I, that would be awfully boring if I tried this on every single one and filmed it. 2.33 2 2.33 This is, by the way, a different scale. It doesn't handle as nearly as much weight, but it sees in a finer resolution. So far, that's the heaviest one right there. This one right here. This appears to be the lightest one so far. Nope. This is the lightest one so far. So this is the lightest at 1.94. And this is the heaviest at 2.84. So that's not much of a swing. That's less than one gram swing. But anyway, there they are. So I'm going to go do this for all of them. I can't wait to do the orange ones. All right, <clears throat> so I weighed everything up, and here's the winners. This is the biggest, the heaviest, and the lightest of each color. Now it was interesting that uh, the brown seemed to have the least amount in the bag and it also had the lightest. Um, 
let's say the orange one that's obviously because it's looks like it's got two uh, two peanuts inside so there's is that and here are the technical results so I was surprised uh, that the orange held such a large amount of the percentage of the bag. Um, now keep in mind, this isn't any sort of uh, any sort of quality control for the M and M people. Uh, really, um, I was I was honestly hoping to find a bigger uh, discrepancy in the weights and, and counts and stuff. Um, on the weights, I was slightly disappointed because they actually seemed to do a really good job. Uh, everything was was pretty even, and there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of consistency in in the individual weights. I saw the same numbers pop up over and over, um, but by and large, it appears that uh, two point something grams is the average. Uh, under under two grams was somewhat unusual, and over two grams was even more unusual. So. I found that interesting. Um, but the heaviest and the lightest is the orange and the blue. It is the, it is the heaviest one out of the whole bag and the lightest out of the whole bag. And just to, just to re recap that, that's uh, 1.62 grams for the blue and 3.9 grams for the orange. That's a 2.28 gram discrepancy or difference. So, like I said, you know, um, I just found it interesting that uh, that the orange held such a large portion and that the the red and the brown were such a small portion of the bag. All right, so I'm going to attempt to uh, separate the peanut from the chocolate. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work. Well, maybe work pretty good. And we're going to find out what the peanut weighs versus what the chocolate weighs. And I'm going to count the chocolate and the coating as the same thing. So it appears that the, the heaviest one out of the bunch, the orange one, it has a, uh, a peanut and a half in it, as it turns out. So there's one half of the peanut. All right, so this is pretty easy. So there's the peanut. All right, so we're gonna weigh, we'll weigh the peanut and we'll weigh the chocolate. Let's see, zero that out. We get the peanuts with no chocolate on them. And they come in at uh, 1.01 grams. Chocolate, and I'll try to get as many of these crumbs as I can. Kind of somewhat disintegrated. So that comes in at about 2.85 grams. So 2.85 minus 1.01. .01. That's 1.84 grams difference. Hmm. I'm not sure all of a sudden why that's an important number. Well, I guess what this is tell actually telling us is that uh, the the majority of that particular M&M &M was actually was chocolate rather than peanuts, um, which is good because. Uh, Chocolate is uh, more expensive than peanuts. Uh, I wouldn't it wouldn't have surprised me honestly if it was the other way around. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna break open a blue one and see if that is any different. Disintegrated a little bit more. Peanuts. These the peanuts separate easily from the chocolate. 0.37 grams for the peanut on that one. Uh, 
1.22 uh, 1 grams for the chocolate. Incidentally, we're fairly close when we add up the peanut and the chocolate. Uh, so anyway, there's that. So here's my final thoughts on the peanut M&Ms. Uh, I think that overall m &M has a pretty good quality control on this. The weight spreads weren't hugely different. Um, I was, however, surprised to see the uh, orange held nearly a third of the bag. Uh, so from now on, I probably won't be able to buy a bag and uh, just eat them. I'll probably have to take them apart and uh, see what percentage of the bag each color holds and uh, maybe find the heaviest one and the lightest one in the bag. Um, so... I've probably created some sort of OCD for myself. Um, and the other thing is, how come you never see peanut M&M's in ice cream? You see regular M&M's in ice cream fairly frequently, but never peanut M&M's. I wonder why that is. I wish somebody would take up the cause and, and throw them in there. Anyway, I hope the video wasn't too stupid or boring. Uh, feel free to uh, drop a comment in the box below and subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully there's more content coming. Thanks for watching.